kinds of things. So what should I focus on? Because I have all this stuff happening. Well, it starts with goals in projects, right? So how do you write a goal? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to identify what community this is, your goal is in. And the reason I talk about communities, and I think Trisha brought it up earlier, is we do a pretty good job professionally, I'd be willing to wager, of figuring out what our goals and projects are, right? But if you think about all the other pieces of our lives, which is the personal piece, right, or the society piece, do we really take the time to think about goals and objectives? Sometimes, most of the time not. And you have to remember that there's only you. And everything, you know, 100% of you to dedicate to any of those communities. So understanding how you're actually going to sort of parcel that out is really important. And that's why I talk about communities. So when you're going to establish your goals or your projects, you really need to get your head around what community am I really focused on here, right? So an example is, you know, your work community. And then in context of that community, you say, well, what is my role? And the reason that's useful is because it gets you sort of thinking about, you know, if, it's, if my community is my family, then what are my goals as a husband? What are my goals as a father, right? Because they're different, right? You're going to try and accomplish different things. So figuring out the role um, really helps you start getting your head around what are your, how can I write my objectives. And then you can break it down to areas of focus. This really works professionally because sometimes you're doing lots of different things, right? So in this case, you know, individual contributor at work, um, one of the big areas that your responsibility for it could be, you know, for me it's like Six Sigma, Six Sigma is an area of responsibility, it could be whatever it is. But then you can begin to really break that down and that's key, right? Because there's probably lots of things you're, you're accountable for and trying to write objectives by thinking about all those things all at once is really difficult. So think about what you're accountable for, or what is the area of focus. And then once you have that, then it's easy, okay? You essentially whittle it down, you say, now I'm gonna create my goal. And everybody's heard SMART, right? Specific, measurable, achievable, responsive, timely. You know, everybody's heard that, right? Um, really good article on Wikipedia on SMART, so take a look at it. We cover it again in more, de uh, more detail in, in a longer talk. The other piece of it is make sure it's aligned. Aligned professionally makes a lot of sense, like how does it align to the strategic plan of the company in which you work for? What does it mean to be aligned personally? Value That's right. The thing you're trying to accomplish, does it match the values, in other words, the person you're trying to be, right? Does it go back to your personal mission statement? Is what you're trying to accomplish aligned with your personal mission statement? Because I guarantee you, if it's not, you won't do it or you won't be successful, 